In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my top things to know and do first for your Galaxy Watch 6 up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff. I do all sorts of tech reviews on this channel. Today we're taking a look at the Galaxy Watch 6. My goal with this video is to help you get the most out of using your new watch. Now, this video is actually part of a series I'm doing with uh, things to know and do first with your watch. Other videos in that series will be linked down in the video description. But for now, let's just jump into it. So to me, one of the coolest things about having a smartwatch is all the cool watch faces that you can put on it. I mean, that really gives it that stunning physical appearance. Uh, and really, uh, to me, gives it the opportunity to be just about any design you want. But how do you change your watch face? Well, you can just tap your finger or long press on the screen, and that actually brings you into the, uh, the watch face menu. And what you can do is when you long press down, you can then go to different watch faces available and go ahead and tap on it. A lot of them have different animations and fun things to do when you tap on the screen. Now a lot of the watch faces uh, also have customization. So you'll see here I can customize this watch face and then by either swiping up or down, I can choose different designs. If I swipe to the left or right, that allows me to change different colors. You choose which ones you want and then this button on the upper right, when you press that, that solidifies it, that sets it, and now that becomes your watch face pretty cool stuff now there's a bunch of watch faces in this menu if you don't see anything that you really like you can go to the end and it'll say add watch face and then from here you can scroll down now you can either swipe or you can use that bezel that's on your watch to just scroll through all the different watch faces again if you get all the way to the bottom and you're like i don't see anything that i really like you can tap on more watch faces and this is actually going to take you into the play store and from here you can swipe and see all different watch faces available uh, some are going to be free and some are for a charge and real quick a big shout out to carol mantha yg caches 20 and chick cool issues latest viewers on this channel to find tinker tinker's our little hidden robot he looks just like this guy on my shirt and he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel. So keep your eyes out for Tinker. If you're the first person to spot him, take note of the timestamp. That's the amount of time into this video that he pops up and be the first person to let me know the correct timestamp down in the comments section below. If you're that person, I'll put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out, just like these guys, in one of my future videos. So next what we're gonna do is change the uh, voice assistant from Bixby to Google Assistant. You can continue using Bixby if you want, but I find Google Assistant to be a lot more useful. You do this simply by swiping down from the top of the screen. This will take you into quick settings. And then from here you can tap on the gear icon. Once you're in the gear icon, you're under settings, you can scroll down until you see advanced features, which is gonna be right here. And then you'll scroll down in advanced features until you see customized buttons. Tap on that. And then down here, you'll see that uh, uh, when you go to press and hold the home button, which is this top button here, right now it's going to go to Bixby. If we just go ahead and tap on that, you can see here we can choose assistant. So we're going to go ahead and choose assistant. And then from this point, uh, you can just swipe to the right. That's going to take you back. And now if I go ahead and long press this button here, that'll take me into Google Assistant. If this video is helping you out, if you're learning something, take a second, smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. So let's talk about navigating on your watch. You use tiles to go through all the different uh, menus or screens that you really like using on your watch. And these are very useful because they're essentially hot screens to just go ahead and do what you want without having to scroll through apps and things like that. Now you can edit these real easily by just scrolling to the end and going to add tiles. And from here you'll see all the different tile options. So things like alarm, timer. I like using timers quite a bit. So I'm gonna make that one of my tile screens and by just selecting it and tapping it, it is now in my list of tiles. So as we scroll through here on my tiles, eventually we will come to timers that I just added. Now let's say I wanna put this closer to the front of the watch. I can long press down and then this brings this up. I can then 
press down on this and then just kind of move it around. Let's say I want to put it a little closer to the front. Let's just drop it right in there and then tap it. Now, if I I'm just keep hitting this right button up top to take me back to the home screen, as I scroll through my tiles, it's like the third, fourth one, there's my timers. If I want to set a five minute timer, boom, I can just tap on it and we're good to go. Now, if for some reason you want to remove any tiles that you have, you have a little minus button right up top. Some of the tiles also have an edit feature. Uh, but you can go ahead and customize all these different tiles so that you can get to whatever you want on your watch as quick as possible. So let's talk all about using apps on your watch. Your smartwatch has all these capabilities uh, to do cool things like play games, do productivity apps, even listen to music because of all the apps that are installed on it. Now to access your apps, you're going to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This reveals all your different apps that you have. Now from here, what you can do is use the bezel and kind of scroll down through all the different apps. You can also just swipe up or down. Now how do you get apps? Well, there is the Play Store, which is this icon here with the little arrow. And that Play Store has all the different apps that you can choose from. Some are just listed for you here where it says Discover New Apps. Others you can search for. I've done a video series on my top apps for playing like arcade games, productivity, listening to music, top health apps. You can visit those videos on my playlist down in the video description below. But essentially here what you would do is search for some sort of a app. This is also how you can get watch faces. Let's take an app, for example, like Google Wallet. You don't necessarily have that right away, so you can install that on the watch, and I'm going to go ahead and install that. And after about 30, 45 seconds, I've got Google Wallet installed. To use it, I'm going to just tap on open, and that's going to open it up. But by installing this app, if I swipe back, and I swipe back again, this app is now available in my list. So I'm going to see it here, most likely at the bottom. There is Google Wallet that I just installed. So with your apps installed, you can also rearrange these so that you can put them uh, like the ones, the apps you're going to use more towards the top of the screen. You can also uninstall these apps. So to uninstall, you would just long press down on whatever app you want. You'll see uninstall. If you tap on that, go through the prompts and it'll get rid of that app on your watch. Now to rearrange apps on your watch, again, long press down and then you can drag this to anywhere else on the watch. Now a lot of times you'll see other apps move out of the way and now I've just rearranged it. Now if you've got a lot of apps that you want to group together, I find it helpful to make folders. Uh, you can uh, group maybe all your arcade games together or your music or voice apps. So like right here I've got two apps, this red one and this green one, Spotify and then audio recorder. I'm going to put them together. So if I long press down on Spotify, I can actually put it right on top of uh, the other one, the voice recorder. And then from this point, it puts them in a folder. Now I can tap on folder name and then put in whatever name I want. Uh, or I can tap this dot that's over here. And if I swipe up or down, that gives me a way to highlight those uh, that folder. So let's say I wanted to make it like blue. Uh, now when I just tap well, actually, let's go back to blue there. Okay, now when I swipe back, and we swipe back again, I've got all of those apps that I put in that folder highlighted. If I tap that folder, the folder name's going to pop up, and then I've got everything grouped together. So just an easy way to organize all the different apps on your watch. So as you go into all the different apps on your watch, when you go into something, it actually stays open on your watch until you close it. This is also going to start sucking up battery more quickly. So at the very top here, I've got this two dot icon. If I tap on that, this actually shows you all the different apps that I have open. Now, if I swipe up from the top of the, or from the screen there, that's actually going to close the app. And you'll notice I have a ton of apps open. This is really kicking a lot of battery here because it's still giving uh, battery to all these different apps. You can just go to close all and that is going to close all the apps and probably increase your battery life a little bit just by doing that. So to save more battery, you can put the watch into power saving mode. To quickly do this, you swipe down from the top of the screen and this is your quick settings. If you swipe to the left, you'll see this little battery icon. When you tap on that, now I've put the watch into power saving mode. You're going, what 
is power saving, what does that do? If you long press on that, it's actually going to take you into power saving. And you can see here with it turned off, I get about 21 hours versus with it turned on, I get a day and an hour. Uh, and essentially what it does here is it turns off wake up gestures, always on display. It's actually going to turn off Wi-Fi, limit CPU speed, decrease brightness, limit background network, background location, background syncing, and reduce screen timeout to 10 seconds. So if you're maybe camping or out and about, you don't need all these features, quickly turning on and off power saving is gonna extend the life of your battery. So with your Galaxy Watch, as far as charging, you can just connect it to the charger, and while it is sitting on the table or the desk, it's actually got this cool feature where the screen is actually gonna rotate. So if I go ahead and tap on the watch, now it's actually sideways made so that it's like a tabletop or a desk clock which is pretty cool and convenient if you want something to look at while it's charging so let me know your comments uh, or questions about the galaxy watch 6 down in the comments section below i hope this video has been helpful and i have more things for you to know as well as things to do first that'll be in my other upcoming videos of this series you can check those out with the card popping up at the end of this video or linked down in the video description my name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.